Hello, secure boot not enabled error is back again on Asus laptops and I will make an update with this video. The latest video that I had on this subject was a 99% success rate for most of the people. So I decided to make an update because I got a new laptop, again an Asus, again a tough gaming one and uh, it's the same shit, okay, the same shit. I did some research and I want to explain you exactly. So I got this new one. It's brand new. I didn't activate Windows or anything. I just straight go install CSGO and face it. And I get the same error. I tried to enable secure boot. Again, same story. Why I got a new laptop? Because I'm forced all the time after I finish work to unplug and plug my laptop to the monitor and stuff like that. And it's really annoying. So let's get into this error, okay? As you can see, it's already on the stage where you're asking me to restart. So I will just restart. Spam the F2 key to enter in the BIOS menu. Come on. Okay, now here we go. Advanced mode. And boot. Uh, no, 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 not boot, sorry, security. Secure boot. Oh, sorry for uh, the movement, but uh, the sensitivity is really high on this mouse. And uh, Secure boot. As you can see, it's enabled, okay? You'll see this. You will go to this menu and you always see this enabled. You enabled it, go back in uh, the face it menu. You will try to install the anti-cheat and surprise, it will not work. What is happening? Looks like Asus is forcing us to... You see this option here, Keys Management? It's some kind of protocol or something. I don't really understand what's going on. But uh, when you open this first time, you'll have like zero values all the way here. All will be zero values. These are some kind of protocols from what I researched online about the secure boot option. And uh, you, you need to do the following step. You go on each of one, press update. Okay. Go to the second one. If you have this already, just press update. Anyway, press update. And you'll see those values will change from zero to whatever the fuck. Oh, sorry. I didn't want to get on this one. The fourth one. Update. Okay. See this one? Has zero values. Now it has some kind of value, see? Um, I have finished here. Secure boot. It's enabled. Now we'll save and exit and go back to the menu and see. Uh, what is going on? Uh, by the way, I don't know what this is. Don't ask me anything about this. Save configuration and exit. It's really annoying to get a new laptop and all the time. And also, I, I will give you some uh, valuable information right now while it's loading. Some people have tried this on other laptops. Obviously, it's not going to work because the BIOS is different on all the laptops. Some people did a really stupid mistake. They followed my tutorial and did this on their gaming computer. And it's... It's my fault I didn't mention it in the, fourth, uh, in the first video, but I didn't know that. Looks like if you do this on a computer, you will fuck up something on the motherboard and you will need to update your BIOS or rewrite your BIOS again. Because your motherboard is fucked with different values that you played on. Remember the keys management there? You played with those and you fucked up the motherboard. Sync with the current BIOS and you need to update your BIOS, take the motherboard out, send it to a service so they rewrite your BIOS again. So if you have this problem, don't do this on a computer. Like the title said, 
do it only on an asus tough laptop if you see the options like me here as i showed you on the bios early if you don't see those options or you have a pc like a unit a computer unit not a standalone laptop don't do that because it will fuck up your bios and uh, I still get comments from time to time, even I added it in the description and I pinned all the comments with this problem. I get comments all the time with people saying, uh, look, I did this and now my computer fans stopped and I cannot turn on my computer. Yes, because you just fucked up your motherboard. You fucked up your BIOS with your motherboard. They communicate somehow with those keys management values. And you fuck up those and you fucked up your system. Now you need to take your motherboard out and uh, pretend that you are stupid and you don't know what happened and go to your local shop, put uh, send it on the warranty and hope that they will never figure out and they will just replace your bias and that will solve your problem. I told you, don't do this if you are on a gaming computer. Asus, not Asus, whatever doesn't matter if you have an asus tough laptop you can do this with no problem it will don't fuck up your laptop it won't fuck up your laptop if you have an hp or other laptops it will not work simply as you can see uh, face it anti-cheat login with face it blah 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 okay Open face it. Uh -huh. Bang. It's working. See? No secure boot. No secure boot error. No, not enabled. I told you. This is working 100%. Everyone that... You can go on my latest video and see that. All the people that did the steps like I explained to them. Like you see in this video. It's really simple. It requires like 2 minutes to do this. But pay attention... Like I said, do this only if you have an Asus laptop, a TUF especially. You can also try on ROG. If you have the same keys management options here, you can try the same. But you have a gaming computer, even if it's Asus with Asus motherboard. Let's say a ROG series gaming computer, the, the big unit. Don't do that. Like I said, it will fuck up with your settings and you will need to replace your motherboard or send it to warranty or throw it on the garbage because it's not good anymore. You need to rewrite the BIOS. As you can see now, it's working perfectly and if I play, I, uh, I start to play a match, it will instantly find me a match. Yeah, don't laugh on my, on my level 4. This is my, my other account. This is my Smurf account. Shh, Let's see if it's working, if it's going to find a match or not. Yeah, so it's working, okay? Banger. Like I said, like I said, 100% success rate. If you follow the steps, don't do this on a gaming PC. Do this on a laptop only, especially on ASUS stuff only. Okay, guys. Uh, like I said, any problems that you have, I'll try to fix it for you in the comments. Just have a bit of patience, like a few hours. I'll try to respond as fast as possible or any inquiries that I get from you or any kind of questions or comments. Thank you again for, for watching. See you in the comment section. Bye.